Alright people, so sorry about the last video, I accidentally cut it early, um, and then I decided to claim some rewards here, and then I got some sort of good stuff in the last one, so I decided to have you guys around to see it. Um, uh, that's great, now we've unlocked an epic. Alright, so... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna collect all this stuff, and then I'm gonna explain what happened to you guys. Really sorry about that. I'm not in the best with technology. There's probably a way I can merge videos together, but hey. So, what happened is y'all probably can't see it, but I'm just using a my screen recorder function on my phone. And you see at the top of my screen, I have my XP, my dart count, coin count, cash count, and then that circle with a stegosaurus on it so that when i touch that that stops the video and yeah so last video got cut short by accident but i mean hey it just means i get to post two videos which is i've actually heard is technically better for the youtube algorithm what is this okay definitely gonna have to take out arctotus now we have now we have to be serious about this I say that, but not really. Not really. Um, what could we put here? Let's just put that. Silo, silo container. What a bizarre name. So yeah, this video is probably going to be a lot shorter than the other one. The other one was like 12 minutes. This one's only going to be like probably two or three. It's already a two minute mark. I'm silly. Dial container and uh, ugly but awesome looking hybrid. And it has brilliant abilities. Brilliant abilities. And how is it? Okay, let's, let's just talk about this, guys. How is this thing resistant to damage over time? How are you resistant to getting, getting sliced open? And some creatures are completely immune to that. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But I mean, hey, all right. I didn't, I didn't make the game, so hey, what is that? What, what? The Andrew Theorem. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. For all right, first you strike. This thing looks like someone left Dumbo in Chernobyl, like Dumbo the elephant. Alright, so... Okay, so here's what we did. I gave him damage over time because my big hit could not kill him in one attack. So, now he's taking bleed damage. So now I can just take him out in one hit and the raptor's faster. So I'm just gonna do that. Now I think all we had to worry about was, what was it? Was it a Mono Officer? No, it was a Titanoboa Gen 2. But we could just take out the Scorpius or the T-Rex, so this is really not that big of a deal. Again, guys, I'd like to apologize for the, uh, technically my part messing up on the last video. You guys probably didn't like that a whole lot. I mean, hey, this is my first YouTube video, too. Even the professionals mess up sometimes. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, I've only posted two videos, including this one. Whenever these two will be out, I might upload them tomorrow. I'm planning on uploading them this evening. Um, hope you guys like what you've seen with my channel so far. Um, I asked a question of, I'm going to start doing a question of the day, I guess. I might forget to do it. But, the, I already asked a question of the day in the last video. It was, what is your favorite dinosaur and why? And it's, it could either be a dinosaur in-game or not in-game. So if you don't know what I mean by that, it could be a real creature. Once my roster loads in, I feel like the game broke. Okay, so it could be a real creature like the T-Rex. Um, it could technically be any prehistoric creature, honestly. Uh, Kulisukas, Allosaurus, whatever. Or it could be a hybrid, you know. You could say that your favorite, hi that your favorite animal, prehistoric creature, hybrid is the uh 
diplo tater, that thing, because I have no idea what that's called. The, the, you guys can't, why am I pointing at these things? You guys can't even see what I'm pointing at. So yeah, and what's your favorite creature and why? Uh, as I said in the last video, it's Scorpius Rex. That's all I gotta say. It was epic in Camp Cretaceous. It's an epic creature, but it's ugly, but it has cool abilities. And this is the Alankra Unlocked, alright? We we did it because we had a thingy. I really want to take that 100 bucks, but if I click the button, it's so just gonna, it's gonna stop the video right here. So yeah. And yeah, so. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, we might get to level up the Scorpius. Alright. Let's do the math. We got it. We got it level 13. Now, I would like to caution you guys, please let me play this game for fun. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little sick. A little. A little sick. So please excuse me if I sound off, or if my real noise I just made. Just this. So yeah, now we have the Scorpius Rex Gen 2, level 13. Ain't this just a freaky looking creature? Imagine they had this in a movie. Alright, so I watched a video made by Goji Center. It was Indoraptor versus Scorpius Rex, alright? And they they basically said that since this thing has such a short deformed skull, it technically doesn't have a very strong bite force. Yet that just and since it has funky teeth and not the strongest of bite forces, that means if this thing attacks you using its jaws, it's gonna be incredibly not fun. So yeah, I'm not going to go into details or else YouTube demonetization is just going to strike me down. Alright guys, so that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there everyone and have a good day.